Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Uh, this is going to be your love reading for the end of July. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be implementing a new uh, daily love reading collective for everybody. Chock full of charms, everything I used to do in the past. Um, and I'm also going to tack on at the end um, if you're dealing with a particular sign and what the messages are for there. So I'll be live streaming these and they will be daily. So you're going to be able to get a message every day for me, which is awesome. <clears throat> at least I think so. All right, let's get into this. Taurus, what are your love messages for the end of July? Okay, you've got ascension, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, a new phase, preparing for union. You've got the hammer. Okay, rebuilding something. And you have hand of cards. Wow. Okay, taking a chance, a risk. Um, not showing your hand. You also have, oh, date, and I like you. So, hmm, meeting somebody new. You're rebuilding yourself. I love it. Okay, you're starting over. Um, and somebody new is coming in here. Let's take a look and see who this person is. This person really, really likes you. Romance can to bloom from this. Fun flirting. Okay, um, you're not showing all your cards. You're not showing everything here. Um, there's definitely a new phase. You're preparing for some kind of union. Um, you're working on yourself. That's, that's for sure. Trying not to sabotage. <laughs> anything in your life all right let's take a look and see what is this this dating situation or somebody coming in who is interested likes you look at you they're looking at you like wow Taurus you got it all going on okay oh my goodness wow okay somebody here why do they like you? Because you're standing here in this Nine of Pentacles and your abundance, your solo pleasures, your luxuries, you're looking attractive. A well put together, well oiled machine. I know some of you are like, nah, I don't really feel that way. Well, that's how you're coming off though. So maybe your your perception management is like, you're keen, you're doing well with that. Um, this person thinks of you as being very magical. Okay, they wanna put some slots in your coin slot. <laughs> I can't even believe I said that. Oh my gosh. Is, is this an X-rated? They want to put some coins. They want to put some coins in your coin slot. Okay. And they want to marry you. <laughs> this person is going to be like head over heels for you. Like, oh my gosh, Taurus. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm obscene. I'm just, I'm absolutely obscene. This person's coming in, they're taking a risk. They're coming from far as well. I think with that hammer, you're sculpting yourself. Maybe you're working on your body and your fitness and your, your, your everything. I mean, you're just drawing this person in, okay? <laughs> Somehow, some way. Aquarius, Gemini energy. Let me see. Let me see. It's funny because I'm going to do the Gemini next. Maybe you're on the cusp of Taurus, Gemini. Um, okay. Yep. I want to reunite. I want to get together with you. Um, go to some type of an event. Uh, very supportive energy. Definitely want to date. Ooh. And this person, like, they don't want to let you go. Once, once they come in, once this person shows up here, um, gonna be sometime during this this end of this July energy maybe you meet them at happy hour you're out with friends um, they come in out of town and this person is just bedazzled they just said bedazzled by you maybe you got like a bedazzled purse or you're walking around with like a bedazzled belt okay oh yeah crush energy total page of wands that's my crush card like so much so um all eyes on you preoccupied on at you focused on you taurus this person okay queen of swords gemini aquarius and um libran energy as well okay is this a new this feels like is this a new love okay hmm Um, excuse me. Um, they're not saying it's new. 
there's an apology of some sort coming in. It could be maybe you already know them, but you were never with them. They might be part of your circle of friends of some sort. Um, yeah, this person's been, yeah, that's what I feel like the message is. There's been some hesitation from this person or on this person's. Like you guys might be a part of some kind of group or something. Maybe you don't know each other's friends. I, I'm not sure. There's a connection somehow through other people. This person's been hesitant to approach because they didn't want to have any conflict or drama or problems. You know, the old don't shit where you eat kind of thing um, if you work together. But not only an apology, but a love, communication, a text, a sweet little something coming towards you. Okay, this is like whenever I look at the page of cups, I always feel it's like candy heart, like those candy hearts with little messages on it. That's what I feel like that is. Um, maybe they give you a candy heart. Maybe they did before. Um, or they bring you one with a cute little message on it. Like, will you be mine? It's so sweet. It's not even Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> but it's, you know, hey, Taurus, it's Venus energy. Um, I think that is the, the most, I think that that is the sweetest thing. It's childlike, you know, it's like somebody, <laughs> um, oh, I just heard somebody's child, they give it to somebody, they give it to a child and the child hands it to you. But it's really from them, it's really from the, the, the person who's interested in you. It's just the sweetest thing. Little candy heart messages. <laughs> oh my God. What's going on here? Like, I'm getting all the, like, warm fuzzies just thinking about this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Want to run away with you? Definitely. This person's coming in. They want to reconcile. And then they want to just sweep you off your feet. 100% with that Seven of Swords. 100%. They want to steal your heart. They want to steal your innocence. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> Taurus, you might have been like, I'm abstaining. I've, I've gone back to church. Um, I'm wearing a habit. I am, I wrote off sick. No, 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 no. This person, like some of you might have been so long since you've been in a, f a f physically intimate with someone, you're practically virgins again. This person's like, oh, great. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not saying any more about that. <laughs> yep. Here they come. They want to put that coin in your coin slot. <laughs> listen you take it however you want y'all have dirty minds it's not my problem <clears throat> yeah they want to um they can make that offer <laughs> it's not just about sex okay it's just this you're the whole package this person sees it they want everything they want everything about you oh my gosh <laughs> there you are queen of pentacles right there you're standing right there see the wait wait this doesn't have it on it Okay, a lot of roses, a lot of love. And I just kind of feel like, Doris, you're like looking at them like you can't be serious. Like, although deep, maybe deep inside, you're kind of like, okay, be serious. I, I feel like you, you're a little bit going to be sussing this person out. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like you're going to be mean or anything, but I just feel like you're going to be sussing this person out like... Yeah, you know what? I feel like you're like, my heart's dead. I'm not getting involved with anybody. But this person's coming in and, may, and is going to try to transform things here with you. Okay, but you're keeping everything close. See, here's the Knight of Wands. Very lusty, passionate energy about you, connecting with you. And it's going to, something I feel that will turn into like the Ten of Cups. A very beautiful, beautiful relationship. Oh my goodness. I wish I was a Taurus right now. I have absolutely no Taurus in my chart whatsoever. None. Zero. Zilch. I've checked. But I am an earth sign, so it, it's fine. But still. Taurus, you're like the luckiest one of the bunch out here in these readings that I've just done. All right, let me see. What is your love message here? Okay. Forgiving and learning. Letting go of this some past stuff. Okay. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Maybe you're descending from something in the past that was awful. But you've been calling in your soulmate, which is beautiful. <clears throat> and here they come. Okay. They could be another earth sign. They could be an air sign. Just so you know. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much. 
Okay. Yeah, this person almost, okay. This person's almost like freaking codependent on you. Like that's how their energy is going to be. Like clingy. They can't get enough. <laughs> Uh, well, you might want to nip that in the bud quick, get to know them a little bit better and, and see if that's what's going on. But um, this person gets like a little bit addicted to you. See, Taurus, I feel like you've been in this, maybe you've just been in this abundance mindset, calling in your soulmate, calling in somebody and then... But I think you're going to like soak it up because it's something that you want. Like you're going to be the sole focus of this person. And like this is this is something that I, I feel like you've been wanting that that love, that Venus partnership. A hundred percent. It's not just I like you. OK, it, this turns into love. Romance blossoms here. And they want to date you. OK, making plans, setting a date getting back out there this person probably getting back out there meeting you new to each other if you've known each other before it's like meeting you guys each other for the first time is like a brand new thing oh wow Taurus I'm gonna leave your reading there um yeah do check back on my channel here for the daily collective readings they'll be up soon all right you guys love you bye